In this video, I'm going to demo the Uplink Robotics Inspection Crawler. I will be given discount code for this crawler, so make sure you watch the entire video. Okay, everybody, we're here with uh, Ore, and he's from Uplink Robotics. Ore came out today to show me his product because I'm interested in buying one so I can upgrade from this uh, older model. First things first, let's see what's in the box. Check out this case. looks pretty heavy duty. Wow, look at that. First thing I see is a quick startup guide. I'm impressed. I did not expect to see this. Look at that. It's got specifications, what's included in the box, crawler controls, shows you everything. And it's got technical support on the back, of course, Uplink Robotics. So right there is the uh, monitor, and here is the controller. And right here we have uh, the battery, which is a lithium, and there's the cords for charging everything, including another charger here. So taking off the cover to put the battery in is very simple. I like this part. And look how easy that is to plug in. Nice and heavy-duty cord. Cover goes right back on with one screw. And then, bam, just turn on the power. And look, it's even got a battery indicator on the crawler itself, which is very impressive. Right here, we have a basic uh, RC controller. If you're familiar with any kind of RC vehicles, you'll be right at home with this. There's really nothing different about it. Um, and I want to point out the mount for the monitor is also 3D printed, custom made there. And look how nicely that slides on there. Super easy. Once you connect all three components together, you're ready to go. So tell me about your crawler. So this is the Martin. So um, this is the one we've sold the most. Like I said, this is all the home inspectors buy this, buy this okay. one, the V1.1. And this is the controller and the monitor for you to see the video. Right on. How do you clip that together? You just slide it in. Oh, that is so difficult. <laughs> you just slide it in and you're good to go. As you can see, this is my old workhorse right here. I've been yeah. using this at least six years now. Um, I've tested this thing under every condition you could possibly imagine. Um, this one, I'm interested in trying under my house mm -hmm. because the big tires Got me curious. So right now, if you look at the height, it's about the same. Wow, My highest this, point is right here, right here. Yeah. and that looks like it's the same mm -hmm. plane as your tires. Yeah. The wheels can always catch wires and stuff, so that's the biggest challenge about using these when you're in a crawl space. Yeah. So you can't just go flying through there going doo doo doo, cruising <laughs> around, drag racing and stuff. But by the mm -hmm. way, has anybody ever started drag racing these? Racing? In the office, we do. Oh, in the office. Okay, in the office. All I don't right. know about the customers, but we've played around with this a lot. <laughs> maybe maybe I should organize something like that here in California. Let's go ahead and put these under my house, and then maybe we'll even do a little bit in my uh, over-vegetated backyard. So, uh, see how they handle it. What do you say it. we give it a shot? Let's give it a shot. All right, let's go. So, right now I have the controller and the monitor on already, so I just need to flip on the martin and then you hear that beep it's already connected you just flip a switch and everything is good to go just like that just like that i spin it yeah show the camera moving give us a little nod yep it's got his own personality when they do that it does let's put it in there so you flip it up and down once and it starts recording video video okay and then to take a photo you flip it up, down, up, down once, and then you go to photo mode. Okay. And then to take a photo, you do the same thing, up, down, and then it takes a photo. All right, cool. Yeah. With the dust blowing, it looks like adverse conditions. In the room, <laughs> <doesn't> it? <laughs> like it's windy and... Yeah. <laughs> so watch where you're going because you're coming up on oh. a trench. See? There's a trench right there. You probably won't make it out of that if you go in there. It's kind of deep. Mm, okay. So we can go around the uh, other way. You inexperienced drivers. I know. Here. I would try to back up. Uh, you just, I think you just flipped. You just flipped? Yeah. You're my guest today. Okay. But you're the one that rolled it. So yeah. the only fair way to do this, throw fingers. Okay. So whoever wins mm -hmm. doesn't put the suit on. <laughs> whoever loses puts on the suit. On one... Are we going on 
One, two, two three. three. Ready? Okay. One, two, two three. three. I win. No, or it's okay. You can stay there. I got this. <laughs> I'll, I'll go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Found it. Oh, yeah, we got stuck good, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so now it's my turn at the wheel here to try to drive this thing under my house. Let's see if I don't get it stuck. So see, right off, right off the bat, I'm running into the piers under my house because I'm not used to the size of this crawler. It's bigger, it's wider and taller than the one I'm used to using. But that's just a learning curve that anyone's going to have to go through, whether you had one before or not. You just got to figure it out. So right here, bam, I hit the pier again. I almost tipped over. So I got to learn how to deal with the width of this thing. So let's try this mountain right here, see if I can get over it. I made it. All right. Great. That's good. Uh-oh, I see wires on my right, and guess what? I got stuck. I wonder if the instruction manuals explain that you have to go in and save it sometimes when it gets stuck on something. Oh yeah, we got that tangled up nice and good around this tire. Look at that. Wow, that's really caught in there. Whew. Okay, AAA just did his job again. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Okay, or so we ran into a couple problems. Yes, we did. Uh, one was user error. Him first, then me. <laughs> <laughs> he went too close to my trench where my uh, sewer, sewer drain pipe is. And when he went too close, uh, instead of just backing straight out, he tried to turn and it, his rear wheel caught the hill and it slid down. And there was no rescue in any crawlbot from that because that was a deep hole and there's a pipe in the middle of it. User error happens, and yeah. that's part of getting to know your, your machine. I just got it caught. When I started using it, I misjudged. I forgot how big these wheels are compared to what I'm used to using, and I tried to go past a wire, and I went right into the wire because this is a lot taller than that. So I'm used to mm. being able to judge mm -hmm. how close I am to something, and, oh, mm -hmm. you know what? I can sneak around that. Yeah, That's a whole new thing I'd have to learn. Mm. With the using the bigger down. tires. So one thing I also noticed is to turn your camera, you have to turn your bot. Mm -hmm. This one here, I can just turn the camera. Mm, so yeah. those, those are the differences you're seeing. Hey, hey, what's your name? R2, R2D2? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I All right, man, we got, we got something going on here. Very robotic. This crawler was designed to flip over and keep on going so you can keep inspecting if it flipped over however the camera view will be upside down until you flip it over again right side up so this crawler is corpse certified it will make it over a corpse you may have to try a couple times but you will make it over my suggestion is go over the legs it's a little bit easier to get over the legs Okay, everybody, start your engines. We are now racing in the backyard, and, and it looks like the crawler is slower than the bot. Oh, look at this. And I don't think Orr liked that very much because Orr started messing with me big time back here. Look at him rolling over my crawler. So anyway, we're racing back, and there he is driving over me again, like literally driving over me, and he's, you know, he's kind of bullying me around. And then he does this. Watch. He pushes me and rolls me over completely. I can't believe my guest flipped me over in my own backyard thanks or for knocking me over in my own backyard anyways everybody this video was a blast to make i spent the whole day with or we did a podcast as you may have already seen already and we did this demo it was a lot of fun um, and i would definitely recommend getting one of these crawlers if you don't have one already this will get the job done it's going to have the same limitations as my old one However, it's got some newer features on it too that I already pointed out in the video. So if you'd like to get one, good news is I have a discount code for you, which is $75 off. The discount code is Authority Inspector. So go to their store, which is uplinkroboticsstore.com, and you can order one right there and then put in the promo code Authority Inspector and get your $75 discount. 
So I want to also thank Uplink Robotics for giving me the opportunity to uh, demo their product. And thanks for the t-shirt. This one's great, man. I love it. Check out the back. It's pretty cool. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I appreciate all your support. Please like and subscribe. And of course, share this with all your friends and family. And I'll see you on the next one.